shows I've done like wow. Olympus has fallen inception Terminator wow uh, Iron Man a lot of different shows straight out of Compton Jack Reacher 2 got a lot of different shows out there every show is different in the way that the crew is let's kill the crew so when I got a call to work with you guys like tomorrow I have to fly out to Atlanta to the cancer treatment center uh, and, and do another round of chemo. Like so far to be like 17, 18 rounds of chemo after tomorrow and it's gonna suck. But I'm gonna look back on this whole week and it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna laugh and look at all the pictures and like, wow, this is cool. And that's what keeps me going. I wanna see each of bam, bam, bam. He flips in the air and you're like, what the heck? And you see this guy flipping in the air. By that time, the gun's already here. We rehearse with the pad. Then when we shoot, we'll take the pad out for a few takes, as long as you are comfortable yeah. Yeah. and you're safe. Um, and we'll only do comfortable stuff. Yeah. If, it's, if it's not there, we can just fall also, it's okay. unbelievable that I'm working. He's John. John will take this thing from the bushes and he'll hit Lee. How will you fall, Kevin? On him? Yeah. Come on. Like that. Okay. This way. So we'll go for a big take. I have a master of this completely. And then we'll go for the cuts off. Their fight is going on. Mm -hmm. They two are fighting. Right. John has hit Lee. Boom. And Kevin actually is running towards John. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can, we can is, imply that he's running towards uh, He's running I, towards John. Okay. And then DQ hits him. So the difference between working with directors like him and say like Christopher Nolan or, you know, Peter Berg or Anton Fuqua or any of these other directors is they have a set vision, you know, uh, with their projects and they're very adamant about the way they want things and that's fine. It works for them. Uh, they know action. They've shot a lot of action. This director obviously hasn't shot a ton of action. So he's very interested in doing things practical, meaning he likes to shoot things real. He doesn't want to use CG or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, that's so that's what I love about him. He's practical, he want, he knows what he wants, he's very specific on what he wants. By then the camera will be up to here. Mark Tavaria, uh, you know, Rostro Cinema, Lingi, uh, they have been there, you do very old, uh, and the movie list, you you just come here where he is behind, shows him coming in the door, bang, 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 and this, you come down. It's like, so you can just come here and be like this. One, two, and then a split second, you see the window go, and then just kind of shrink like this. Pop, pop. looked up who the director was on this, I was like, I want to work with this man. I don't care how much you pay me, I don't want to work with you. At the end of the day, I want to be happy, I want to go, man, I want to work with you again. I want to be what, part of what's something Exactly, like my name is stamped on it, and yes. I was. I want to work with that guy again. Yeah. Just like you and your team, yes. and me and my team, I want to bring these guys, if we do another show together, I want to bring the same guys to work with you, 
because we made a, a nice project, we yes. did a nice film together. The director and I got along and stuff, and that's what you want at the end of the day. It's not about it's not about making a million dollars. It is, but it isn't. At the end of the day, like I tell people and I tell students and people that want to get in this business, anytime you can wake up doing what you love to do, you never have to work another day in your life. Right. You're very blessed. Right. And when you only get one trip around the sun, make it count. Thank you.